uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, today we will be solving this uh, like uh, interview question and can be asked for your uh, like online assessment test as well uh, for a freshers positions okay so let's solve it so basically this is a uh, like like what i can say like resistive based circuit with some uh, independent sources okay so let the uh, let read out the question first so r1 is 1 kilo ohm r2 is 3 kilo ohm r3 is 2 kilo ohm v1 is 5 volt uh, this this v1 okay and we have to calculate the voltage at node x so you need to find let's say this is vx voltage okay we need to find the voltage at this node if i1 is 2 milliampere so this i1 is 2 milliampere and i2 is 5 milliampere okay and i2 is 5 milliampere Actually, you can solve this type of circuit in many ways. Uh, I am solving uh, like what is uh, what is comfortable to me, okay, and and pretty easy, okay. So now this type of circuit, how to solve it? So we can see there are like this. This is the same node, okay. We can assume that, and this can be let's say grounded as well, okay. We can assume that, okay. Not necess necessarily it will be grounded, but here we can assume this is grounded, okay. Now we can see. Uh, so here we can apply a KCL or KVL and here we can apply KCL and KVL right so now for this uh, for this loop let's say a loop and let's say this is B loop so you can see that there is a constant current flowing through this resistance R and that is nothing but I right because this is a series path okay in this in this branch right so we can write a KVL so what will be the case so this is a let's say this is VX voltage so VX will be nothing but the voltage drop across this R1 so let's say this is I1 R1 so, right so this will be I1 R1 plus what will be the case the voltage drop across it right right so voltage drop across I1 okay let's say V I1 okay and the voltage of this voltage so let's say this V1 so this is a uh, like uh, KVL right now and what about this branch so you can see that the voltage drop across this R3 is nothing but this I2 into R3, right? So this will be uh, the voltage drop across R3 is nothing but I2 into R3, right? So we can again see that the Vx is nothing but this voltage drop plus this voltage drop, right? So if I write that, so now if I write that, so Vx will be nothing but uh, I2 times R3 plus the voltage drop across this I2, right, I2 source, okay, so this will be let's say V I2, and if I write a KVL here, what will be the case, so Vx is nothing but, so here we, we, we like, like this, this is a current, right, so there will be a current, let's say I, uh, I, IP, okay, so IP is nothing but the voltage at this node, and the, my, the and the at this node, difference of these two nodes, divided by R2, right, this is the current, right, so now we can see that if we have a IP current flowing through the resistance R2, so this will be nothing but IP will be nothing but the Vx by R2, okay? So this is the thing. And we can also see that we can apply a KCL at this node as well. So there are three current, one current, two current, three current. So the sum will be like zero, right? The outcoming, like the outgoing current will be zero, right? So now if we write a KCL at this node, so this will be nothing but I1 plus I2 plus IP will be equal to 0, right? Now we have to solve this, like this equations only, okay? So what we can do? So we have, like we can have this equation, we can have this equation, we can have this equation. But solving this type of equation is not easy because the voltage drop across this I1 and the voltage drop across this I2 is not known to us, okay? So we cannot solve this type of thing like so easily okay so i will use this this expression and this expression to get the final of vx okay so now solve it okay so just i need to put the i1 and i2 and ip so i1 is 2 milliampere okay let's say this is 2 milliamps plus from this equation okay let's say 2 equation and this is let's say 1 equation equation number 1 right 2 milliamps and i2 is 5 milliamps okay so this is 5 milliamps plus IP is nothing but Vx divided by what will be the case? R2 is nothing but uh, value R2 is 2 kilo ohm, right? 
so this is 2 kilo ohm equals 0 okay so now what will be the case so this kilo and the this milli and the kilo cancels is each other so i can write uh, 7 will be equal to minus vx by 2 right then what will be the case so our vx will be minus 14 volt okay so this is the final answer so this is how we can solve this type of uh, like circuit so easy okay so minus 14 is the right answer so there will be a, another option of minus 14 volt okay so this is the correct answer okay now let me check recheck the uh, values okay so we can we can write i1 plus i2 plus vx by r2 will be equal to 0 okay so i have written that so this is 2 millivolts that is uh, 5 uh, sorry this is 2 milliamps this is 5 milliamps and this will be vx by r2 and r2 okay sorry 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 r2 value is 3 kilo ohm right so r2 value is 3 kilo ohm so i think so that i have rechecked it now so this will be 3 so this will be 3 okay so this will be minus 21 volt okay so this is the correct answer so minus 21 volt is the correct answer so this is the correct answer okay so this is very much very much easy while we doing this uh, like kcl things okay so thank you everyone you can put your valuable feedback and uh, actually uh, forgive me for this easy calculation mistakes actually i put uh, r3 value uh, in the place of r2 okay okay thank you